What happens if you merge SQL Alchemy with Pydantic? You get SQL Model, which is the future of database management in Python. SQL Model is a powerful ORM that's quickly becoming the go-to for developers for many different reasons. In this video, we're gonna break down SQL Model from the ground up in three different areas. First, we'll start with a quick overview of what makes SQL Model unique, how it brings together the best of SQL Alchemy, and Pydantic. And when combined, it brings together the best experience for managing databases. Then we'll dive into amazing reasons to why SQL model should be in your developer toolkit. Whether you're working on web APIs, data projects, or anything in between, SQL model is a fantastic choice. Third, and finally, we will get our hands dirty with some coding. Where I'll walk you through the process step-by-step for setting up SQL model in your own project and then being able to create database tables, entities, and all that kind of stuff. If you're new to the channel, I'm Eric Groby, a software engineer with over a decade of experience, and I have helped thousands of developers learn and grow within their craft. When I first started coding, dealing with databases was one of the most challenging aspects for me. Learning SQL felt like a whole new language in its own like unique, weird way. And that's because SQL was just totally different than Python or any other programming language. But with SQL model, a lot of those frustrations just completely disappear. And that's because SQL model is, of course, an ORM that allows us to be able to work inside Python syntax, but it also offers some like really cool features that I didn't know beforehand. One of the standout features of SQL model is the best part. It's probably what makes it like somewhat famous is the data validation. And that's because SQL model was built on top of SQL alchemy, which is the ORM part and Pydantic, which is the data validation part. So really it brings the best attributes of both of these and like kind of like serializes them together to make SQL model. When you combine them, this makes sure that your data is always clean and consistent. And when you declare your columns in SQL model, it also integrates SQL model and raises an exception if the data is incorrect. So SQL model just removes so much of the boiler code that is inside competitor ORMs on the market, but it also brings data validation. And that's like the biggest and one of the coolest things that there is. And in this next step, we're gonna kind of go through these coding steps so you can have SQL model integrated in your application. So let's go dive into the code. I'm just gonna create a new pile called main.py. And inside here, well, the first thing we're going to do is create a virtual environment. So I'm just going to do this real quick, create a virtual environment for this application. And really all we need to do now is a pip install SQL model. And that will automatically install SQL Alchemy and Pydantic. Real quick, if you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe to be notified of upcoming videos and check out my best selling fast API course linked below. Perfect. So SQL model doesn't have a ton of imports. It, it does a lot of it behind scenes, which is really cool. So we can say from SQL model, import SQL model, field, create engine, session, relationship, and select. We need to create an engine just like we do in SQL Alchemy. And this engine allows us to be able to connect to the database. So we can say engine equals create engine, or we can say SQLite colon slash 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 ORM dot DB. And now let's go ahead and just create two objects. We're going to have two tables that have a relationship between them. So let's start by just saying class author SQL model of table equals true. ID of int equals field where we have a default equals none and primary key equals true. Name of type string, which is equal to field max length equals 50. And email of string equals field max length of 50. Let's go ahead and create a, another table, which is going to be book. So class book SQL model table equals true. Where ID is of type int equals field default none primary key is true. Title of type string equals field max length equals 100. Content of type string. And then here we want to say an author ID of type int equals field where we're going to do a foreign key back to our author ID. 
And now we want to do is create our relationships, which allow us um, to have one to many relationships. So under author, let's go ahead and just say book of list of book equals relationship and we'll back populate to our author. And then here inside the book, we want to do the same thing. So we can say author of type author equals relationship back populates to book. Perfect. All right. So now we have a lot of our entities set up. And one thing that you might be able to notice immediately, unlike SQL Alchemy, where we have to create like a table and we have to pass it in, it will automatically create the table based on the class name. So when we say table equals true here on um, SQL model, it'll automatically create that table called author and it'll automatically create the table called book. And now to be able to create all these tables dynamically and automatically behind scenes, we can say SQL model dot metadata dot create all of our engine. And now let's go ahead and just create some information inside. So I'm going to add some sample data. I'm just going to say with session engine as session, that's what we need to start up our session using SQL model. We can say author one equals author. We pass in the name of Alice. And then inside here, I'm just going to paste two authors in three books. This is going to be information about these users. All right, and what we can see here is that we have our two authors and three books. Now to be able to add them to our session, to be able to add them to our database, we need to go ahead and say session dot add all where we pass in a list and we can pass in our two authors and our three books. And then we can say session dot commit. All right. So now if we ran our application and I save the file and I say Python three main dot pi, what we can see happens is inside our file explorer, we have a new database. This is called ORM.DB. If we went ahead and looked inside this ORM.DB, we would be able to see that we have two authors and three books inside. So what we can do first is just go ahead and just do a single query. So to do a single query, we can say with session engine as our session. We want to create a statement. So a SQL statement, which is equal to select book. And then we want to say results equal our session dot execute our statement. And then what we can say here is for book and results print book. Now, if we go ahead and we rerun our application, we can see our books right here. So we have ID one content. This is Alice's first book with the author ID of one. And we go through all pieces of information all with their own ID. Now it's actually going to have double right now. So that could be slightly confusing. And that's because we re ran this twice after creating the table. So this only happens when you create the table when the, when the tables don't exist, it needs to create the table, but this ran twice. So what I'm going to do here is if we go over here and we just delete this ORM.DB and we rerun this application, we can see that we only have our three users now. Now let's go ahead and just comment this out so it doesn't get recreated every single time we run this application. Perfect. Now what we can also do is we can just get the list of books. So to get the list of books, I'm going to remove this for book and results. And all I'm going to say at the end now is I'm going to say dot all and then print the results. If we run it now, we can see the first query is right here. And then our new query right here is a list of all of our books. Now we can enhance this even more. So right now we're creating this statement that's equal to select book. We could just stick it all in here as one item. And I spaced it out first just so it wasn't confusing. But if we go ahead and do the exact same thing, we're going to get the exact same item because we can say the select all book inside this EXEC function. But I do think it's cleaner if you do use the statement. 
Now, the next thing we're going to do here is kind of go over how we can use a where statement. And we can do this by saying with session engine as session statement equals select book dot where book title equals Alice's first book. books equals session dot execute or statement dot all and then we can just say for book and books print book and now if we come down here and we rerun our application we can see that we get the book Alice's first book because that's where we queried we used a where to only pull that specific book we can query to join the book and author tables and retrieve books with their authors. So right here, I'm just going to delete this one more time. And I'm going to say statement equals select book comma author dot join on our author. Books with authors equals session dot execute statement dot all. Now we want to print out each book's title in the name of the author. So we can say for book author in books with authors. We just want to print a F string of our book, book title and author, author name. And now if we go ahead and rerun the application, we can see book Alice's first book author is Alice, same thing for the second book and then Bob's book. So we're successfully being able to join the author here, which is a pretty advanced technique that's used all the time. So actually, I don't even know if it's advanced technique, but it's used all the time. And this will stump a lot of people on how to use join to be able to combine all of the data. Now, let's say we want to update a book or an author so we can change the title of Alice's first book to Alice's updated first book. And to do this, the very first thing we want to do is fetch the book that we want to update. So we can say book to update equals session dot execute. Select book dot where book dot title equals Alice's first book. If book to update is valid, so we are able to find that item in the uh, database. Well, then we want to say book to update dot title equals Alice's updated first book. Session dot add book to update. Session dot commit, and then we can refresh that book and return it back to the screen. So now if we run the application, we can see that we get our updated book, Alice's first updated book. And this session dot refresh will actually repool from the database to make sure that everything is updated and it'll refresh the instance. Now we can do something very similar for deleting. So let's go ahead and say, hey, we know this book is now inside the database. So I'm just going to paste it right here. And what we want to do now is this is going to be the book to delete, not update. If the book to delete is valid, then all we have to do here is say session dot delete book to delete and session dot commit. And just like this, that book will be completely deleted. So if we rerun it, it does exist and it was deleted. And if we run it again, it's actually going to be okay because this is failing because book to delete doesn't exist anymore. All right. So in this video, we went over the queries um, on how to join, how to delete and how to update. And SQL model is freaking awesome. It allows you to be able to do data validation on the table itself. 
which just adds so much security. And this is definitely going to be the ORM I use in the future. All right. And with that, I will see you in the next video.